Hello everyone, welcome back. We are, uh, this is kind of a crop update, what's left, if you will. Here's the cabbage. I've talked about the cabbage a time or two, and I've done no, no filming of the cabbage. But you can see, this cabbage is ready. There's probably 250, 300 sacks of cabbage here. I've been cutting a little bit. Uh, that we've got to get out. This is uh, one of three crops that we have left in the field uh, for this year. So, uh, like I said, we've got there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rows, 20, 25 sacks to a row, or 25 sacks to a row, 200 sacks, something like that. Uh, we'll see what what becomes of it. But uh, today is the 11th day of October, and uh, we are getting close. But this is, uh, this is one of the crops we have left in the field, and uh, looks pretty good. Cabbage used to be one of the main crops we grew, and uh, it's a nice pretty cabbage. Late cabbage uh, used to be one of the main crops we grew. It... Uh, it was a crop we enjoy. It is a crop we enjoy. Uh, the problem we ran into, or reason we quit growing so much of it, is uh, simply put, labor versus return, labor inputs versus monetary returns, if you will. How much money we can make. Like, to kind of sum it up, got tired of growing real good cabbage and giving it away. Uh, the market just kind of got uh, soft in it so uh, but anyhow we still grow some uh, at one time we were growing six seven acres of this stuff and uh, kept us busy and you know it, it was a pretty good crop for us you know we can grow pretty good cabbage that's a nice nice cabbage but uh, uh, but that's one of the three crops we got left in the field let's go check on the others Okay, the second crop we've got left in the field is this little patch of potatoes here. Uh, don't know how well they did. They, uh, I don't know how many potatoes are in there, just to be honest. Uh, we will try to dig them out sometime this week. Hopefully sometime this week. Uh, got some things I got, I got gotta do this week that may cut into some of that but uh, uh, we need to get those dug and see if there's anything in there people are wanting potatoes this year uh, it's funny on the produce side it has been the demand for product this year has been very strong uh, as strong as I believe I've ever seen it and uh, that's a good thing of course the uh, we have had some rain, a little about an inch and a half yesterday, uh, left over from the Hurricane Delta, I guess it was. Uh, you can see we've got quite a bit of water standing in here. But uh, it, uh, they're also forecasting, uh, they were forecasting heavy thunderstorms and rain today. Uh, yeah, maybe tonight, I don't know, uh, maybe not at all, so who knows, but, uh, I just don't put much faith in weather forecast, uh, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't, of course, that's, we're all human, that's the way it goes, but, uh, it can make it difficult when you're trying to plan and work around a prediction that uh, is uh, a lot of times less than accurate so we'll uh, we'll just let that go but all right so we've got the cabbage we've got the potatoes and over here is the last patch of pumpkins now when we planted these pumpkins, 
this was uh, pie pumpkins and there's one or two still left in there uh, they're pretty much picked out uh, and I'm trying not to break my neck here because this is slippery uh, actually let's do this right here that was uh, that section's pie pumpkins this section was mixed uh, decorative pumpkins your whites your greens your blues your oranges uh, your stacking pumpkins candy roasters etc etc it's picked out you'll see a couple of cold pumpkins laying around on the ground as we move through here uh, this spray section was and then if we can cross another quagmire here this section was as well and there's a couple of whites we've missed uh, and it'll be hard to uh, you know until it frosts we still got a lot of foliage on these pumpkins and uh, it makes it a nightmare to pick normally you walk into a pumpkin patch this time here and all you see is pumpkins no vines uh, there's another white one we've missed but it was pretty easy done there's probably a bin or two of pumpkins laying over through here that we've missed uh, and if it the foliage would die back we could uh, more than likely uh, pick some more pumpkins and then we've got uh, right here's there's three sections of jack-o'-lantern pumpkins and these have been picked over three times at least three times and you can see that we have some real nice jack-o'-lantern pumpkins I mean there's one there's one there's one there's one there's one there's one that uh, are just not ripening or, or not ripe so this is what we've got left to pick in the pumpkins there's one there's one there's one i mean there's a lot of pumpkins here they're just not uh just not ripe and i'm a hoping after this weather moves through i mean you can see pumpkins uh after this weather moves through that we will uh get some cool weather and they'll ripen on up i hope uh we're probably going to pick them regardless if they uh no matter what stage they're in so we've got this section this section and then there's a section over there to uh clean up and some of them have more pumpkins in them than others but uh there's a pumpkin you know we're three weeks from halloween there's a pumpkin uh we're three weeks from halloween i'd like to get these picked this weekend out of here there's a pumpkin i mean there's lots of pumpkins laying in here they're just not orange which is a problem uh so we'll uh, hopefully can get these out of here this week and uh you know that's uh now there's some some of these orange ones are culls stems are broke off of or whatever so but uh yeah that's uh that's what we like we like the potatoes the cabbage the three rows are the three sections of uh, pumpkins and you can see we had some problems with johnson grass in here uh look at it this way it looks like there's a lot of johnson grass in here but there's little clumps of it you can see it's not quite as bad as it appears and there's pumpkin so uh but yeah it's uh it's been an odd year uh you know with the vegetables and produce but uh, there is some absolutely beautiful pumpkins in here it's just love to see them get ripe i mean uh we can walk right here and uh 
Occasionally we'll cut one that's a little on the green side and just leave it laying in the field right there. And uh, we will, uh, hang on a minute, I gotta get a phone, I'll take a phone call. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. But uh, yeah, there's still quite a few pumpkins left in here. Uh, certain strips of this uh, field have more ready, so we picked them more closely but hopefully hopefully we can get them out of here this week get them out get them picked get them sold and be done with them that is the plan uh, but yeah there's a there's some downy mildew in here of course they've not been sprayed in a month there's a pumpkin there's a pumpkin there's two pumpkins there's a pumpkin. I mean, I can stand right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Right here in this little section, just about get a bin of pumpkins. And it's like that in all three of these sections. So there is a lot of pumpkins in here. Uh, probably 25 or 30 bins of jack-o'-lanterns which I would desperately like to get out of here and get sold so I mean you know that and starting to ripen it's a nice pumpkin and we're getting some more and more and these were green last week when we were picking so you know that tells you that they are starting to ripen uh, there's a green one don't know whether it'll ever ripen enough or not uh, so we'll probably cut that and hope it ripens before halloween so yeah that's a situation we find ourselves in but we're wrapping up 2020 there's one turning uh there's one we've cut and set out uh, for some reason maybe the bin was full we'll set it out of the road but we're wrapping up the 2020 growing season and it feels good it's been a pretty good year haven't sat down and really hashed it out but uh it wasn't too terribly bad that's for sure but uh it'd be nice to get these pumpkins out of here and uh be done so uh this time of year is always nice I've said many times that fall is like Friday afternoon for farmers, but the uh, weekend's real short. So, but anyhow, if you like what we're doing, uh, want to follow us along, we're just telling the story of a small part time farmer. Uh, please hit that, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video. Uh, see a video you like give it a thumbs up if you have a question or a comment about a video please do so and uh, until next time hopefully we'll be in here one of these fields cleaning up uh, it's fun this time of year to when you get to this point you start figuring how much is left in the field and uh, kind of how many more paydays you're going to get uh, before the end of the season now that is one thing that you do miss is the uh, monetary side of it once the crops are out of the field but uh, you know you also get a rest so one of those things but anyhow thanks for watching do appreciate everyone that takes time out of their busy day to uh, keep up with us. And until next time, take care of yourself. We'll talk to you guys later.